You can use Final Cut Pro in combination with QuickTime Pro to import an image sequence. You can use image sequences to create stop motion animation effects. Check out this shot of the sunrise. If you have a new Macintosh system or if you're running Snow Leopard, you will need to install QuickTime 7 from your operating system disk. To do this, double click on the installer DVD. Open up the optional installs folder and launch the installer. Within the install window, click on the QuickTime 7 checkbox. After QuickTime 7 is installed, you can open your image sequence directly into the QuickTime player. In this example, you can see I've got an image sequence of a sunset. You'll find a copy of QuickTime 7 in the Applications Utilities folder. Go ahead and launch QuickTime 7. Navigate to the File menu and select Open Image Sequence. Then select the first numbered picture within your folder. QuickTime Pro will automatically assemble all the other numbered pictures into one playable stream. Next, navigate to the File menu to export a QuickTime movie. After that's done, you can import your finished QuickTime movie directly into Final Cut Pro. Okay, that's it! For other great tips like this, or to enroll in a Final Cut Pro training course, visit GeniusDV.com.